All right. What you're getting confused on? All we're doing is we're just labeling arcs. And the way that we label arcs is by their endpoints that are on the unit circle. Okay. So when I'm measuring this minor arc, I'm talking about the measure of the minor arc is the rotation of your two radii, which is x degrees. To find the major arc, you're just going to take 360 and subtract it from your minor arc. And your semicircle is always going to equal 180 degrees. Now the last thing I want to talk about is this distance L. So when I'm asking you, when I'm talking about the mark of the arc, the minor or the major, there's two things that are incorporated with that. There's two things that are incorporated with finding the arc. One is the measurement of the rotation of your two radii, which is in angles, which is in degrees, right? How far do these two radii rotate from one another? That's in degrees. We can also be concerned of what is the actual length. What is the length from B to C? What is that actual distance? X doesn't tell you the distance. X tells you how far you're rotating of that arc. So to find L, and it doesn't matter if L is the minor axis, L is the major axis, or the semicircle. But if you want to find the distance between two endpoints, all you simply do is take X. Uh, 2 pi r, sorry. So that is going to tell you L, which is the length of your central angle. OK? Yes? Is it 